This is upward facing dog. Typically, upward facing dog comes after chaturanga. It's that nice transition. So, after you've lowered halfway down in your chaturanga, then you push through the hands and bring the tops of the feet down. So, this is really important. Try not to let the shoulders rise up when you're in this pose. Yeah, that's just kind of doing nothing for building arm strength. So, push down through the hands and actually lift off the ground. We're also not just sagging and letting our legs drop down. That puts a ton of pressure in the low back and is not building the core strength that we need to sustain back bends, nor is it building the back strength that we need. So the feet are pushing down and the legs are lifted up. Now, here's a subtle body thing that you might not be able to see, but you can certainly feel. So, in any back bend, you're driving the tailbone down, drawing it in between the legs. That's going to create space in the low back and actually allow your chest to open a little bit more. To get out of upward facing dog, you lift from the hips, and then flip, flip the feet and find downward facing dog. 